Um, welcome to Peer Tutor. Did you sign up for a tutoring session? Uh, I didn't. I, I wasn't sure how. Like, I'm, that, can I still get tutored? That's okay. We can just match you up with a tutor right now. If you want to sign up beforehand next time, you can sign up on this sheet right over oh, here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, is there what do you want to be tutored in? Physics? Alright, let me see. Oh, great. Geneva can tutor you. Okay. Hello. Welcome Hello. to the Peer Tutoring Center. I'm Geneva. Before we start, we need to fill out this sheet to make sure we have your information and your goals for today. This helps me understand what you want to accomplish from coming here and what you want to focus on. Okay, that makes sense. So first, can you give me your name? Sydney Klein. Is this your first time coming to the Peer Tutoring Center? Yes, this is my first time. Um, my teacher recommended it. Okay, great. We're glad you're here. So what would you like to work on? Um, I have a physics test tomorrow, and I do some practice problems, and I'm not sure if I did it right. Okay, uh, we can go over them. Do you have the textbook with you? I don't. Okay, that's not a problem. We have resources here. Okay, so do you remember which problem you tried? Uh, 75 right here. Okay, let me read through it so I know what you were working on. Okay, so why don't you walk me through um, what you were doing? Okay, so I got the picture, and I got the free body diagrams. And I understand that the arrows have to, like, cancel out, but I don't really know why. Okay, so that's mainly due to interaction forces, which is just saying um, when an object exerts a force on another object, the, ob the other object exerts the same force on the first object. So, for example... Um, if I were to pick up this book, my hands are exerting an upward force on the object, and the book is exerting a downward force on my hands. Okay. And both the forces are equal? In that case, yes, if the object does not accelerate. Okay. Do you remember um, one of Newton's laws states that if an object is not accelerating, the net forces have to be zero. So that's why they would have to balance out. And in this case, the objects are resting on a table, so you know they're not accelerating. So it looks like um, it looks like you plugged the numbers in correctly, but did you actually um, answer what the question was asking about? Um, I don't think so. That's where I got stuck. Okay. So this is asking for the magnitude and direction of the force exerted by the 7 kilogram block on the 6 kilogram block. So if we're just looking at part A, which arrow on here would represent the force we're looking for? Good, good job. The normal force because the seven kilogram block is underneath the six kilogram block. So we don't, um, we don't have the normal force given to us, but like you said earlier, we know that the normal force has to equal the weight of the six kilogram block because they have to balance out. And you calculated the weight correctly, so that's a number you can use for the normal force. Okay. So good job with part A. And then part B, um, which arrow would represent the force exerted by the 6 kilogram block on the 7 kilogram block? Would it be the same because of the interaction forces? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. That helps. That helps a lot. I think I'm ready for my test now. Great. The West Springfield tutors are here to assist in any subject. We can help you get started on an assignment, study for a quiz or test, understand a complicated concept, offer feedback on a paper or presentation, or help you with general study skills. Wow, you guys do a lot. Yes, we do. That's cool. Thank Thanks. you. I'll come back sometime. Great.